welcome to the channel divinely spoken 22 my name is Nadi. this channel is for adults only please like comment subscribe to the channel you guys if you all like my readings if you all like my vibe help me grow we can grow together so this is a general energy check-in for sad all right sad so take what feet leave what doesn't don't force any reading into your life if you have to ask who, what, when, where, how, and why, that means that the reading is not for you. I do curse on my channel, so if you don't like the cursing, you can always move to another channel. So, hello, Sage. I'm back with another general energy check-in for you guys. I'm going to hop into the grounding, and then we'll hop right into the reading. Alright, so we're going to do one more shuffle, and we'll see what's the energy for Sag, please, Spirit. What's the energy for Sag? What is Sag? Energy, Spirit. What is the energy? Okay. So I feel like... There's someone who wants to communicate with you. I feel like someone wants to reunite with you here. But I feel like they could be feeling stuck with another feminine energy. Alright. Um, I feel like this person could have went and started a new beginning with someone here. Maybe even gotten a home with this person. And I feel like maybe they're being held reliable for all of the bills. Alright. And I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. Alright, but still attached to this feminine energy. I feel like um Yeah, they could have realized some something here. Give me one second. Come on, baby came in here. Alright, yeah, so this person wants to communicate with you, alright? I feel like they're coming in wanted to deceive you this person has went and got their self committed to someone here who's very codependent and lazy all right they could have either married this person um either had a child from this person got a home with this person all right and now they're being held reliable they're being held reliable to pay the bills here I feel like this person is realizing some things here and they're going to be testing the waters here reaching out to you. Okay, um, with the fake apology here, very immature communication. For some of you all, this person could live in another city, state, or town. For some of you all, you guys could be uh, planning some travel. But I feel like this person wants to communicate with you to deceive you here. I feel like they've made up their mind to reach out to you. All right? They're going to make their mind up to reach out to you. They've been very patient because maybe they're, they've been feeling... They've been feeling frustrated here. All right? I feel like they could have gained to a karmic connection. All right, and it's been a lot of tension, a lot of disunion. They're feeling like they wasted their time here. And they're going to be reaching out to you, sending you some type of message here. This person sees that you have a lot of accomplishments. Some of you guys could even be coming into an inheritance. But I just feel like they see that you're very out here satisfied uh, with life. And this emperor is going to be reaching out to you here. Um, they could have recently separated from this karmic for some of these people and they're going to be trying to come in and start a new beginning with you. But for others, I just feel like they're very stressed out here. They got a very, they got some heavy burdens going on over here with this karmic and the foundation. And they want to leave here. They could have a car together, a home together, but they have some ties here um, that is keeping them bound, keeping them stressed here. Okay, and they want to cut off this karmic and come towards you here. Mm. 
Yeah, but they felt that they want to cut the karmic off, but they're not. Maybe they're very stressed out at night, thinking of a way, but this karmic is very unwilling to, uh, very unwilling to go anywhere. Yeah, this karma is making this person exhausted here. Definitely feeling stuck. We got stuck on top of stuck. This masculine is feeling trapped here with this person. I feel like they do nothing but argue. They don't even talk to each other. I feel like... They definitely don't really talk. Like, they could be in a home where they don't even sleep in the same bed here. Yeah, this masculine feel like, whoever this is, feel like they made a bad choice here choosing this option here. Alright, they feel like they made a very bad choice being disloyal to you for this lazy um, empress in reverse. Alright, and since they've got with this person, it's been nothing but tension, arguments, there could be a baby involved here. Um... Yeah, they're very unhappy here, feeling like they made a lot of mistakes. And they want to start a new beginning with you here. Alright, but they're feeling defensive, maybe don't know how. Um, This person is going to eventually make up their mind to reach out to you, but it's going to be all for the wrong reasons. Um, They're having a lot of doubt here with coming towards you. I feel like you guys are all single right now for some of you all. For some of you all, y'all could have gotten into some type of new relationship. Um, for others, I feel like there could be a karmic who could have... I'm just feeling like this King of Cups here had two options, okay? And I feel like they turned their back on you here um, and left you feeling hopeless but I feel like you found help from the divine okay I feel like you know you realize that you made a lot of bad choices and you moved on with your life having some type of great success you healed yourself mentally physically emotionally all right and I feel like this person went out now feeling like they made a bad choice with someone here because whoever this is is holding them reliable for paying all of the bills whether that's the car the daycare um the home, the rent, okay? Someone is holding this person reliable for taking care of all of that. And they're feeling stressed out here. Feeling frustrated with all of these heavy burdens that's on their back. And they want to come towards you here. But this person is very untrustworthy here. And they're having a lot of delays in their life. Because of the choices and options that they decided to choose, okay? So let's see what... um. What other messages we have. But I'm definitely getting that whoever this person has gone with. They have went out and put a, put their name in everything with this person. And they realize that this person doesn't have the same work ethic as you. This person is not a hard worker. Not a grinder. And I feel like they have realized that they put themselves in some type of codependent relationship here. Alright. What is the energy? What is the energy for the Sag, please? Justice. Falsely accused. I will not be a victim of your character assassination. I know what and who I am and what I stand for. I will not be moved. So I definitely feel as though that is your energy or that could be this masculine energy. And this family dynamic, okay? That's why they're arguing because this masculine and this, this masculine is like, okay, I'm getting tired of all of this paying the bills by myself. I know who and what I am, and you is not finna be taking out my money hole. <laughs> and this is gonna cause some type of separation in this family dynamic, a bunch of arguments. Wow. And there could be a daughter that's sad about this, okay? They could have a family where they have a daughter here. 
And the daughter could be sad about it. But see, I feel like this person wants to move on with you here. New woman, new man. This emperor wants to come towards you and start some type of new beginning. They're tired of this karmic bossing them around. Maybe holding this child here. Um, maybe that's the reason why they haven't released. Because they haven't been wanting to let go of this daughter. Or have this daughter in some type of emotional state here. But this masculine is ready to cut this feminine energy off, okay? Because they're tired of doing everything. But they want to come towards you, but you're already guarded here. You're very guarded. And I feel like this masculine is guarding their stuff now in this top in this situation here. What's the energy? Yeah, you're very guarded because you're moving on to someone new spirit. See, this person is realizing everything a bit too late. You're already two steps ahead of the game. See, your energy is I got body work and now your self-esteem is on a high, low pick of side because I'm doing me. So this is you. Some of y'all could have been thinking about getting y'all body done. Some of y'all could have recently got y'all body done, been working on y'all butt, doing squats. But y'all, this person is too late. You're starting a new passionate beginning doing you, um, moving on to someone new. Some of y'all could be casually dating, okay? And this person could be stressed out about that because they're feeling stuck with someone who they could have this baby mama here, okay? We got ancestors again. Your ancestors is giving you that script, that support for you to be unbothered here. You're unbothered by all of this. You're over here living your life. Growing your pinnacles here. Alright. What is the energy? Older women, younger man relationship. This definitely could revolve an older, older woman, younger man relationship with this karmic. Okay. Maybe this could be you. Take it how it fit. Maybe this person could have been cheating on you with someone younger and you're older. Uh, for some of you all, you you guys could be older and you were trying to have a baby friend this, uh, person and you guys were considering adoption. For some of you all, you guys could just be considering adoption. What is the energy? Because you know this relationship is too... Yeah, see, I feel like you guys are following your religious beliefs here. You're becoming very spiritual because you know that this relationship is too painful to stay in right now. So I feel like you're choosing to boss up, be that boss baby. All right, your ancestors are giving you that unbothered energy. And you're going to move on to someone that's going to give you a, a give. Who's going to give you an equal give and take here. This keep coming up uh, for some of you all. This person, if y'all choose to have some type of sexual encounters, okay, definitely cover up, use protection. Okay, this person, this past person could have some type of issue that they can't heal from. It says, I feel like I should use protection with you. Okay, so be cautious with this person because they could have went out and got some type of health issue from this person they also could be undergoing a custody battle here since they're deciding to leave since they're separated from this family issue this masculine is now starting to speak up for themselves because they're tired of paying all this karmic bills they're tired of being bossed around okay see you're over here dodging bullets living your best life here what is the energy for sash please spirit men are victims too Y'all yeah, see, he, this person is feeling like a victim. They're feeling like, why should I give a damn about someone who doesn't show me love back? See, this feminine energy is only being caring about how they're going to get their bills paid. They don't really give a damn about this masculine. They just kept trying to keep this masculine stuck to make sure that their bills are going to get paid. And this masculine is starting to speak up for themselves because they're getting tired of this. Working day in and day out. And then this person could be having multiple options, doing a lot of partying and drinking here. They're not getting a give. They're not giving getting a equal give and take in this relationship. Okay, this feminine energy. You definitely are intimidating to this person with your energy, your shine. Okay, it definitely could also intimidate this karmic because you're out here being happy, being joyful, being full of bliss here. Alright, I definitely feel like you guys have someone new, okay, and your family and friends is loving this new person. 
All right, self love is looking hella good on you. Some of you guys could be going to get your hair done more often. Okay, um, I feel like you with somebody who is going to lead you guys. Y'all are going to be a power couple here with this new love here. But I feel like there could be a masculine energy and this feminine energy who watches you who have health issues. All right, they feel they could have went and got health issues here dealing with this feminine energy. This masculine could have got someone, but they lost you to someone else here. They lost you to someone else, and they're going to be coming in with this fake apology because they're probably separated with this karmic because they're starting to speak up because they're getting tired of being a damn handyman. For some of y'all, y'all could have met this person at work. For others, I feel like this person has been at work harassing other people, um, other women, other men. Okay? Yeah, and they got an STD. Somebody got an STD here. Someone was dealing around. It says they shamed you with an STD. They could have gave you an STD here. But I definitely feel like this person was sleeping around with this karmic energy here. All right? Or this masculine, whoever this is, and someone has gotten some type of STD. Okay? And I feel like people could be gossiping about it. Somebody could be, like, shook about this information that they're getting. Um, somebody could have a restraining order on someone or taking someone to court because they have given them an STD. For some of you all, you guys could just be um, going to court. But I feel like uh, this person is obsessed with watching you knowing that they have this STD that they can't heal from. So just be cautious here. Alright. Yeah, this person is a player here good times then they ghost you yeah this person is very in and out your life and i feel like this player energy has caused them to um get some type of std for this karma or maybe they gave this karma std and got them pregnant and i feel like they are stuck here paying all of the bills okay i feel like um this karma could be wishing evil on you watching you here very intensely didn't i say that somebody was watching you having an evil eye for you so just be cautious that could be this masculine too unhappy with their life that they're living wants to come in and communicate with you to try to give you some std but spirit says to um use protection because you're protected all right so you need to use protection god girl i got tired of him asking yeah see this they deal with people who boss their ass around that's who they like they like people who boss them around here and I feel like this feminine energy does not like you, okay? And I feel like they're trying to ruin your reputation, whoever this is. Definitely could be a stripper here, okay? You could be a dancer, but I feel like this feminine energy um, is a stripper. Or this person likes to go to script clubs. They like to have sex with loose women here. Okay, and I feel like they you're totally like, this is what they like, and then this is you. You're like a homebody, and you're a nomad, okay? And I feel like they judge a book by its cover. This says never judge a book by its cover because it's secretly loaded, and that was you. They judged you not knowing all of your qualities that you had here. They just was looking at maybe a body, maybe a booty, okay? And that got them with an STD here with this player energy. I definitely feel like this masculine energy um, is moving forward here. It says loss of child, family member through natural death or through actions of someone else, abduction, gang violence, social media bullying, gender, hate, racism, suicide. So I just feel like this person is moving on. They could definitely be feeling like they want to commit suicide for some of these people because they had all this player energy and now they have something that they can't get rid of. But I feel like this player energy has caused this person a bunch of grief. Okay, they're walking away from a family dynamic here. All right. And they're going to be communicating with you soon. So just be cautious of this person. I don't see any good intentions. And they could also have some type of health issue. Um, I get Aquarius. Sagittarius. Cancer. Heavy on the Aquarius and the Cancer. And the Sag. I'm sorry. 
Heavy on the Sagittarius and the Cancer. We got some Pisces out here. Gemini, Libra, uh, Aries, Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Sag, Pisces. So, fire and water out here. Fire and water. Fire and water. We got Virgo, too. And we got some air out here, you guys. So, just be cautious when it comes to this masculine energy. But they are starting to speak up for themselves. They are tired of paying this karmic bills. All right. And they're going to be separating themselves from this energy and maybe coming towards you. All right. But I hope that you all enjoyed the reading. If you did, hit that like button, comment, subscribe to the channel, you guys. Help me grow. We can grow together. And until next time, Sash, bye, good night, stay blessed.